Today we're in a Kloss 990. Uh, we just put a David on the shelf and I'm gonna go through the settings in the Kloss system that will uh, have to be set correctly for our system to work. So let's go through that. First of all, on the armrest, this button here, that's an inoculant tank. If it's off, it will be white. And uh, when it's on, it will turn green. That button needs to be on. That button's a little different in different versions of Kloss, but that button needs to be on. Then when you go to the screen, you go to machine, and you'll see here you have two options under heading. The top one needs to be no source. We don't want the additive tank that is on the chopper uh, from the manufacturer to be going, so we put, at, put that to no source. You can see that's checked. So make sure that's checked. And then we go down to uh, ensiling agent material process. And here we have headland checked. Headland will turn it on and off depending on the header height and move motion speed going forward, okay? You can set it to throughput dependent. Throughput dependent will make uh, it so you have to have the header down going forward and material going through it. So you can set it that way. Headland is nice because you can put uh, the head down and run it in the yard and see everything working. So. Uh, we've chosen today to put it on headland. You don't need material going through it. You can test it right in the yard, uh, just out of the shop door, or whatever, and you can also test to make sure the header switch is working properly and you don't have to have uh, product going through it. So once again, here, if you want it to be throughput dependent, meaning uh, material has to be going through the chopper, you can choose that. Uh, for this application, we're choosing headland. Hope that clears up any questions of the settings. Uh, and then you can simply go back here and you're back to the main screen. So we went machine and uh, we worked with these two. The source has to be no source. And uh, the ensiling agent material process needs to be either headland or throughput dependent. That's it for today.